Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host Ali Hammer and today we're joined with Manan from our Californian office to talk about our amazing global quick start program. So Manan, it's so great to have you on the show today, especially because you are the quick start project manager. So can you start by telling us what exactly is quick start? Thank you, Ali, and absolutely. AWS Quick Starts are ready to use toolkits that are based on AWS and partner best practices for deploying a workload. They make it easy for customers to deploy workloads in AWS more quickly for production or various other use cases. At its core, AWS Quick Starts consists of cloud formation templates, and we've added support for Terraform modules recently, as well as step by step deployment guides that customers can follow along. We build these AWS Quick Start toolkits in conjunction with our AWS partners to make it easier for customers to get started with deploying partner solutions on AWS. Okay, that's really cool to hear how the program works. So how does a customer get started with Quick Starts and actually use them? Sure, so today we have a catalog of more than 200 ready to use Quick Starts on the AWS website and customers can find them at aws.amazon.com slash quickstart. Customers can search and browse for partner solutions based on use cases and their technology requirements and directly launch these quick starts into their accounts. Okay, that sounds relatively easy to get started. So for those who are interested in getting involved in the program, how do they go about actually building a quick start? Sure, so any of the AWS partners willing to build a quick start with our team can reach out to their partner development managers or partner solution architects and can get started with building quick starts for their solutions. Typically, it takes around four to six weeks to build a quick start, and then we work with these partners to drive awareness for the quick starts that they've built. Uh, we, the quick start team, help these partners every step along the way, and it is the partner's responsibility to build and maintain the code after building and launching a particular quick start. Any partner willing to learn more about building how to build these quick starts can log, go online and find, for, find the AWS Quick Starts Contributor Guide. Wow, that's really cool. And finally, Quick Start is built on open source technology. So can you tell us more about this? And what I want to know is, does this mean that it's actually free? Uh, yes, so AWS Quick Starts are published under an Apache 2 license and they're actually free for customers to use. Customers only pay for the AWS services and the partner product licensing fees that are deployed via a particular quick start. The partners obviously maintain the IP on their products as you would expect. The open source model allows customers to take the code that we built and customize and tailor it to their specific use cases. We started building quick starts back in 2014 as, an, as the next generation of white papers and the open source, open source structure allows us to stay true to that idea. Essentially, quick starts allow us enable our customers to build and uh, create solutions on top of what we've already built as best practices for AWS. Manam, thank you so much for telling us all about Quick Starts. It's been a pleasure to have you on the show and we'll see you next time. Thanks, bye. Thank you, Ali.